Here we have a sequence which I can see goes up by 5, then it goes up by 7, then it goes up by 9, then it goes up by 11, and then it goes up by 13. So it tells me it's not a linear sequence. When I go on to the second difference, I can see that that is always going up by 2. So that tells me that it is something to do with n squared. If I write n squared down, that's 1 times 1, 2 times 2, 3 times 3, 4 times 4, 5 times 5, etc. If I remove n squared from the original sequence, 6, remove the 1, I get 5. 11, remove the 4, I get 7. 18, remove the 9, I get 9. 27, remove the 16, I get 11. 38, remove the 25, I get 13. This remaining sequence, I notice, goes up by 2, 2 again, 2 again, and 2 again. So it belongs to the 2 times table. However, the 2 times table starts with a 2, not a 5. So therefore, I need to add 3 to 2 to get 5. So I need to add 3. So therefore, the nth term is n squared, add 2n, add 3.